Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Diecast. Today I'm going to be reviewing another emergency vehicle, this time an ambulance. In the world of diecast cars, ambulances are surprisingly rare. Even among rescue vehicles, I believe the ratio is something like 5 fire engines and 15 police cars for every ambulance. Now this is the box, right, that the model comes in. And this was part of an ambulance series made by the company Atlas in 143 scale back in 2017, I believe. So this is the front of the box saying ambulance collection. And then over here, we have six different black and white photos showcasing vintage ambulances from the first half of the 20th century. You can see we have a van here, a Cadillac ambulance, another one from the 1920s and 30s, and some more here from the 50s. And then over here is the backside. And at the bottom, we have some legal information in a bunch of different languages. It says Atlas and Scale 143 at the bottom. All right, let's get this box open. The only downside of this series is that while the cars come with a base, they don't have a plexiglass cover. Instead you get this blister wrap kind of thing, and so if you want to put this car on display, you either need to have a cabinet or buy a separate 143 acrylic display box for it. I picked this up from an eBay seller for 10 euros which is probably the cheapest you can find this for. This model usually retails for 15 euros, 20, sometimes 25. I wouldn't pay more than 30 for it though, because at the end of the day, this is an Atlas and not a high-end Neo or something. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this model was part of a subscription-based collectible series from back in 2017, I think. And these models used to come with a small booklet, which is usually not sold alongside this model anymore. However, I believe part of the reason is because it was only printed in Dutch and was not meant for the international market. But here's one such page that I managed to find on the internet from the booklet. So if you're Dutch, you can just pause and read this to get some background info. But for those of us who can't, including myself, I'll just give you a brief intro in English. This ambulance is based around a Swedish Volvo 246 from the 1970s. This was part of a range of cars called the 200 series Volvo made from 1974 to 1993, with more than 2.8 million units sold across the world. And part of this 200 series was the 240 and the 260 series, the latter probably being the higher trim level rather than an extended wheelbase. And these were, of course, all designed by Jan Vilsgaard, who was the chief designer at Volvo from 1950 all the way up to 1990. So taking a look at the front of the Volvo 264 in 143 scale by Atlas, you can see that the amount of detail that this budget 143 scale manufacturer gives you is pretty impressive, because we have the Volvo badge in the center grille, the diagonal shaped logo basically, and it is slightly raised. The front grille also has slightly raised bars for the grille. And taking a closer look at the headlights, you can see that not only do these headlights not have any pegs, which makes them look pretty realistic, but they also have like the reflectors, the bulbs, and then a slight groove kind of texture on the headlamp covers, just like on the real model. The indicators are also there and they're separate pieces. And below you have a yellow license plate saying just 264 and a little EU strip on the left. In terms of the engine, of course, this is a 143 scale model, so nothing opens on it. But um, 
regarding the real car, I think that this has a six cylinder motor because this is the Volvo 260 series instead of a four cylinder like on the Volvo 240 series. And now moving further up, you can see that we have ambulance written on top here, flanked by two small symbols for the um, hospital services. And then we even have this silver bullhorn, or loudspeaker, with which they can basically make announcements. And so here's a look at the side of the Volvo 264 ambulance, and I think the side profile looks pretty good. You can see that we have a gigantic compartment here, which probably contains a lot of the equipment that the emergency medical technicians use to render first aid and stuff like that. Of course. Here's the door. You have these door handles here. Now, this isn't a paint bubble. I think this is supposed to be like that on the model. Here we have Volvo written in a small script. Then you have an indicator here. And if you take a look at the wheels, they look pretty good. And this model rolls also pretty well. Smoothly. And then we have these two windows over here. Of course, one is sort of blocked off. I'm not sure why, but the other one has glass, and you can see inside. It says ambulance here. Then you have, of course, this symbol. And then on the top, you have these two plastic sirens. And it's interesting that some of the pictures of this model that I've seen on the internet, this blue is kind of faded off. You know, it's not like as rich and deep as here. Maybe it has something to do with the plastic being exposed to sunlight or something, I don't know. But here it looks good, I think. And on some other pictures I've seen like a single air bubble trapped inside there. So thankfully mine doesn't really have that issue. And here we have the other side of this ambulance, this time with three windows, two of which are actually located on a door that opens outward, as you can see in this picture. Of course, it's not possible on the model. Now, it's interesting because I've seen some photographs of this model where the side windows are, I believe it's called, frosted. You know, for privacy of the patient and the EMTs inside. But mine doesn't have that effect. Which is fine, because I get to look inside this way. Now, originally, there was absolutely nothing worth seeing inside. All the interior walls were blank, and there was only two stretchers. And so what I did was I took this car apart so that I could gain access to the interior, and then I printed small um, pictures of the sort of equipment that you would find inside an ambulance. You know, like the stuff that you see here. The first aid kit, and all that pipes and hoses and defibrillators and stuff like that. And I just stuck it on the walls so that, you know, if you sort of peek inside, you can actually see something. Now, in terms of the windows, you have several, right? You have like one over here, and then you have one at the back, and then you have three over here. However, this bottom window right here is completely useless because it is covered up from the inside. I don't know why Atlas did that. You can always take the model apart and cut that portion of the plastic card with a knife or something, because this window has glass and it would otherwise work. But yeah, at least the others do work. Here's two pictures of what the interior of the real Volvo ambulance looks like, with the dual beds, and one of them can be propped up for an EMT to sit next to the patient. And here at the back of the ambulance, you again have the same rear license plate. And then we have these tail lights with some level of detail, but at least they're separate pieces. And then further down below you can see the exhaust, although it's not colored in. And finally let's take a look at the interior of the driver and passenger cabin. And you can see that there are some details, like some rudimentary gauges on the dash, but they aren't printed or anything like that. Um, you got a center console there, you have stick shift, 
We have some detail on the door panel with like a little window crank. The seats themselves are in brown. And they have some rudimentary detail on the headrests as well. And now checking out the driver's side. See some gauges. Steering wheel. But there isn't really much to see. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys like my review of the 143 scale Volvo 264 Ambulance. I think it's a nice emergency vehicle to add to your collection. The details are good, the paint job is really nice, and um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, check out my Instagram page, and I'll catch you in the next video. This is Imperial Diecast, signing out.